Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on uh, detecting moisture again. Uh, this time we're going to use the Arduino Nano and same sensor, the TE215. Um, and we're going to use very similar code to the one to the code we used before that we used for the ESP8266. Uh, in this case, there's really no difference in the code. The difference really is only in the wiring. Uh, so let's get started. So with this, <coughs> again, um, when you're reading the analog, we're going to read the analog moisture this time. Um, when you're reading that, you're going to want, again, to do the same type of wiring. So you have uh, VCC here, ground here, D0, and A0. This A0 is the pin we're going to connect with the sensor cable. Okay, we use white for sensor. So if we plug this guy in, uh, kind of like we did last time, just on the end of our breadboard there, Wait for focus to fix itself. It's having a tough time today. There we go. And <clears throat> we said VCC was all the way on the left. So we're going to do that. And on the Nano, we're going to hook it up to the 3 volt, 3.3 volt there. Okay. And the ground, same deal. Ground is right there. Set it as a second one in. Alright, so ground goes over here. Right there is ground. See that? A G N D. And then the sensor, we're gonna use A0. So we're gonna go into that analog sensor. And then on the Arduino, you can see the A's, they're upside down in this. But they're right there, A0, A1, A2, etc. So we're gonna do A0. Okay. And that's that. Now, uh, now this is all wired up. We can plug it in, turn it on, uh, but we need the code. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with the code. Okay, so we're back <clears throat> and we have the uh, IDE pulled up. And over here, uh, watching the webcam, um, we're watching our Arduino Nano, our TE215 moisture sensor set up, uh, all plugged in, ready to go. So I moved this around a little bit so you can see this. The wire is still connected in the back. So again, it doesn't matter which where you put these in. As a row goes, uh, these are all about the same. Okay, so let's come over here. So first thing we're going to do is, uh, is define a few different variables. Uh, we're going to use the same analog pin as we did with digital as as we did with the ESP8266 um, digital. So analog pin, if you remember, was uh, A0. And uh, a couple other variables we want to want uh, moisture and percentage. Okay, and I think that's all we're going to need. Um, and we're going to figure out how to do the percentage in a minute, which gets kind of interesting. So for setup, all we need to do is serial uh, dot begin, and we're going to do 9600 baud. Okay, that's all we need there. And then in our loop. We're going to come down here, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the moisture. So we're going to say moisture equals analog read, and we're going to read the analog pin. Uh, pin. It's analog pin, which is set up right here. Okay. And that way you don't have to change this code later on. You can just come up here and change any variables you need to change. Um, and then we're going to print that out. And we're going to just print uh, the raw reading that it gets initially. And then put the moisture. And then just to return. We're going to use that later. And also uh, put a delay in there. One second. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so it uploaded. Let's open our serial monitor. And there you can see our raw readings around um, 
686. And that's with the sensor out, out of the water, right? So what we want to do is, is measure what it is at, this would be 0%, okay? So we're, we're settling in on 687, 686, okay? Then we put it in the water, and you can see that raw value change. It jumps way up to, um, what was that? 283 at one point. And then it kind of settles out again. I think this is the cheapest moisture sensor you can find uh, for the Arduino. So I think we're settling out probably around, probably around 350. It keeps kind of, kind of climbing up. 352 or so. Alright, so let's just call it 350. And you can fiddle with these sensors and you get better sensors. They're going to be more accurate. Uh, but just want to give you an idea of basically how we're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to come back over here to the code. And... Um, Let's actually, let's go back to the serial monitor real quick. Okay, so we said 686 and about 350. Okay, so uh, 686 to 350. So it's kind of backwards, right? As the moisture uh, goes up, the raw reading goes down. So we need to account for that. So up here, we're going to do uh, declare an integer, and we're going to map this to the high level. Okay, and then again, map high there is just a variable that I chose, just like these are variables that I choose, and then we use them down here. Uh, map low. Wait, I have that backwards, don't I? Um, this is actually map low, and this is map high. See? <laughs> okay, so we'll come down here. We read the raw moisture, and then we're going to do another, um, we're going to map it. Okay, so. The way we do that is we calculate the percentage. From up here. Okay, so we use this variable. We use it down here. Map that to, and we're gonna map what value we wanna map. Well, we wanna map the moisture, that's the first argument, to the map function. Uh, and then we're gonna pass it map low. So we say, okay, we wanna take the value from moisture, and we're gonna map it somewhere between map low and uh, map high. So those are the values we're going to read for moisture. And we want to turn those values into, we're going to map them into 0 to 100. Okay, so <clears throat> that will basically give us our percentage. So when map low, when it's at 686, um, this map function will know that that's 0%. And then when it hits map high or 350, it'll know it's 100%. Uh, yeah, so that's how that works there. So now we have a percentage, we're going to print it out. We'll do like a little pipe there to divide them, because these are all going to be in the same line until you type a print line, and then it'll do the carriage return, um, or the line break. Our percentage. And then come down here, and we're going to actually change this to a percent. Right, so that'll be the last character. And that should be it. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's open up our serial monitor. And there we go. At zero. And even with a little bit of fudge factor there, right? Because there's such a wide range between um, what do we have? Three three fifty and six eighty six or from six eighty six to three fifty. Now let's see what happens when we dunk her in. And see before, the same thing, remember? 293, it jumped right up, but then it kind of settles out. And again, you can play with this, right? You could say, okay, well, 293 is going to be my 100%, and you can change your map low variable right over here, okay, to 293. Um, but there we go, we said it would settle out right around 100%, and that's that. So that's basically right. That's basically how you do it. Um, that's how you measure the moisture analog percentage-wise. And obviously, when you're using this in, in a real-life application, um, it's pretty rare that you're going to make such drastic jumps, right? Usually like soil moisture, things like that. Anyways, uh, that's about all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this or anything else, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.